Here's a demo of the proof of concept we made to show how you can write an app for both iOS and Android using Swift. First, we will show you a simple calculator app that we've built in Swift for iPhone. Now, let's look at the code. Here you can see the main logic of the app. And here is where we create the user interface. For this demo, we wrote all the user interface in code rather than using Interface Builder. Now let's take the app and compile it for Android. We've created a tool that translates Swift into Java. It uses compiler algorithms to analyze and parse your Swift code. That compiler creates the necessary Java files to match. An ideal solution shall generate an Android package, but for this proof of concept we wanted to see what the generated Java files look like after being translated. Our compiler outputs Java, and then we use the Android tools to compile that into an APK. The Swift file is part of the project, as any other Android source file, but there is a special build step which translates it to Java. Let's look at the generated user interface code next. Since Swift apps on iOS expect to create their user interface using the iOS framework, we need to map those calls to appropriate code to do the same thing on Android. Finally, let's build the project and see it run. And there is the same app running on, on Android. Let's take this one step further and alter the code slightly on iOS and see as the change propagates to the Android project as well. Here you change the plus button into a multiplication button. Now we'll go back to our Android IDE and get the update. And we are running the app again, and you can see that it has changed. With our Swift proof of concept, we are able to write an app once in Swift and run the app on iOS and Android.